Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We are joined by Terry Lowe, Salida Hall of Famer, and he's going to talk to us about 1990s men's tennis within the conference. Um, you know, Terry, when you look at men's tennis, it's really one program that kind of stands out, Principia College. What can you tell us about those Panthers? Well, the, the Panthers, they, they totally dominated the conference. They, uh, they were the nine times conference champs. And, um, you know, you owe a lot of that to uh, Coach Larry Gerber. And Larry was a, a phenomenal gentleman. Um, you know, just a, a little side note on, on Larry. He had a, in the, in the late eight, mid to late 80s, he had a, a young man from St. Louis, Toby Clark, who was the NCAA champion twice. And so, you know, Principi has always had good players. They've gotten a lot of the kids out of the St. Louis area from Principia High School, and uh, they had a great program. And Darren Posnick, you know, was able to carry that legacy on at Principia. He was a three-time coach of the year. Um, it's... Uh, you know, it's it's interesting, though, that Darren was also a good player. Yeah. How about that? He appears not just, you know, on the coaching part, but he's also an all decade player for men's tennis. So that's quite a feat there. And as you mentioned, you know, Principia, you know, the Slack was formed in 1989, but Principia had a strong history prior to that even on the tennis courts. And they carried that into the conference. Um, Larry Gerber, a big reason for that. As you look along this list of players, um, who are some other players in addition to Posnack that really stand out for you as you look down it? Well, you got to look at uh, Eric Barnhart from Principia, three-time all-conference in singles and doubles, and Brett Meyer, a four-time first-team all-conference performer. You know, I could go up and I could name everybody there because quite honestly, you know, when the conference started, they didn't use the team format. We used a, we used a flight format. And I, I think it was the first five years of the tournament, Principia won every flight. It wasn't until late in, the, late in the decade where Greenville and uh, uh, Westminster were able to get a, uh, uh, capture a flight and be that one through six in singles or one through three in doubles. And that's why uh, Coach Rick Stevens of Greenville, who was a three-time coach of the year, is honored because he, because he helped uh, that, that resurgence. And, you know, what a hill to climb when, you, when you've got this juggernaut that you're competing against in your conference. That's right. Of course, you know, that pushes you to get your program better so that you can't compete. Um, and like you said, uh, Coach Stevens over at Greenville did that um, eventually. So, Terry, thank you uh, for talking some men's tennis. We'll talk to you again in a couple of days about women's tennis. Well, I have to tell you, I coached women's tennis, so it's dear to my heart. Can't wait to hear about it.